welcome once again to this youtube video if you're new just hit that red button to subscribe and make sure you click that notification bell to get all our latest uploaded video now there's uh, there's a change in daraja api and they have made like they've added like two applications two not two application two apis two apis one is called business pay bill business pay bill then business buy good and the bill manager so in this video we are going to talk about the business pay bill as you can see from the description that they have written here this api enables you to to uh this api enables you to pay bills directly from your business account to a pay bill pay bill number or a pay bill store so this means when you have one pay bill your own pay bill you can send money direct to another pay bill via this api so this is like a b2b the b2b people have been asking for it and now they've created it so for this we're going to consume this business pay bill so where you will send from your pay bill to another pay bill now let's click let's go so that we can see the documentation this is a new one it is like three days old i think it's three days old now uh so you can see this is the api that you well, this is the api url that you're going to use then uh these are the request body so when you request when your request will be sent successful you will get this as as this means that you've consumed it successful and the result body that you will get is this and then it will show everything that you need to know about this api so let's try to consume it for me i'd already coded it because uh, i i always do this in order to save time so you can see from here we have we have included uh here we need an initiator name so from the test uh test pro, uh from the here you can you can click here and get the test credentials test credential you can see from here that they're stating stating that we should use the initiator name as test api so we'll replace here the test api as this then we the party party a we let's come and read from here the party a and see what's what's party a so yeah. initiator name initiator name then party a your short code um your party a should be your short code the short, co short code from which the money will be deducted from so this means it's your own short code so let's come from here then see party a we will pick it as this then let's come here and paste part a as that then uh, let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see now you can see uh you can see now from the next thing that they're requesting us to have we should have party b so party b party b let's see the definition of party b the short code uh the short code which money will be moved so party b is the short code which money will be moved so this is the other short code that you want the money to be moved to so let's take the dummy that we have uh that has been given here so we can use it at zero zero because that's the what they've given us so see i've already placed it now you can see here the next thing that they required us to have we should have an here this is business to business so let's see let's see if i have consumed this or or i'm confusing the two apis so you can see the first is the initiator then the second is the uh the second is the security credential the security credential so here we can see initiator name we entered the api then security credential if you didn't see on how we generated the security credential you can see from the uh from the uh, from the course that this course there's a there's a place where you will see how to generate security credential using the code so we had included this security credential here which can be accessed from this file so this is how you generate a security credential if you didn't see you can uh, pause this video then go and see uh, how to generate a security credential because security credentials support is needed for the other apis like four of them or like five they need the security credential so here this is the security credential we have accessed this variable 
here we have accessed this variable that has generated this security credential to here now the next thing that we have uh, the next thing that we have done it's that they require is the command id you can see from here it states that the command id where it's the description i need to see the description so that we can be sure on what on what is required so this is the command id uh, for this api use pay business pay bill only so because we're sending it to a pay bill number we'll use business api now the next thing is sender identifier type so send identify fire type this uh the type of shortcode for which money will is deducted from the api or oh, only for is allowed so uh this is the type of shortcode where it will be allowed so you can see from there's a video in this video where i explain that they use this identifier there's one for pay there's four for pay bill two for till you can check it from the other api you can understand so you for this case you will just add four so you'll just add four there then receiver identifier you can see receiver identify because we are sending it also to a pay bill so it will use four now let's come here now the amount amount you will enter the amount that you want to transact let me just enter one here let me put it as one and then uh the next thing that they require us to have is party a i had explained before for that party a is your shortcode where the money will be deducted uh, deducted from then party b party b this is where the money will be sent to now the next thing that is there an account reference because you are sending into uh on a pay bill it means that you need to open an account number so that you can differentiate the uh, the transaction so for this case we will use account number as account reference so this is what we will use now the next thing we uh, here you can see uh the consumer mobile on the behalf of whom who of whom you are paying so this is optional but you can just state is this because if you if you are sending it to a pay bill obviously you're sending it to an owner so you can add the owner's phone number of which it's optional but you can add it for uh so in order you can so that you can check what is happening and how the transaction are going or for or you can adjust it to do whatever you want to do then you can add the you can here you can see you can add the uh you can add the the remarks then you will add the timeout url and the result url so our case so in order to have a timeout url because i don't want to host this application i will start um i will start an, an ng rock so that my application should be live so if you didn't see on how you can start an ng rock and it's very important because you can state any you can state any uh, you can consume this api locally instead of having a website where you can consume it so i will do this i will just come here and start ng rock ng rock then i'll write http port 80 then you can see we have started the hard disk so this is what we are going to use as our we're going to use as our callback as our timeout url and our result url so i will just do this then i will just come here then we can just come here and create um uh the uh, i can just do this i can come and copy this and i can copy this then create uh here a file where i will name it uh, this uh, callback call 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 back so i'll just take the timeout and the result here at the same place so here then i can just come here and replace it here then replace it there then remember that this it's located on uh, this folder so this folder here it's located on this folder so i will delete then save it so this is why it will send them there then i can just come and take a call back here so that we can adjust it to suit i'll take a call back then just remove this because i'm not storing any transaction then i will just take this um 
pay bill so i'll just take this pay bill uh to pay bill pay bill json yeah uh, json pay bill to pay bill json then this is pay bill to pay bill json then here you i will just replace here to let's name it uh, let's give it a name p p uh p t p pay bill to pay bill and here we'll adjust so that we can get the transaction now you can see from this angle here uh let's check if everything is okay so i'll just leave that as that let me replace this phone number because i don't think that's the phone number that they oh that's what the one that they are using so you can see from that here there so we can just come here and echo this let me just remove this because this is not just necessary echo you can echo and just write the response there so the response let's now test it no i have not accessed the access token so remember that you need to un have an access token in every api that's the important thing that you should know whenever you're consuming any api from the Raja api you need to have an access token and if you don't know to uh, generate an access token there is a tutorial in this uh, in this playlist where you can do that so let's come here and see here and see where well I, I need to well, I need to take the uh, to get the I need to get the access token so let me use the one which I have like for example uh, let me use for SDK where did I access the access token so this is where I access the access token where I can come and replace it there instead of writing the another code so from that you can see that's how you access the access token via this file here now let's do this now let's now let's test it and see if we will get that successful request of which it means this yeah so i will just come in and write localhost then i will write mpesa mpesa api bit that's bit b then let me come here and do this and copy this and copy that then just come here then place it there and now let's test it and see if we will get a successful respond you can see invalid api you can see invalid api key so let's see where if i had placed the uh, consumer key and the consumer uh, secret so i didn't place that's why i'm not getting an access token so let me come to the raja then my apps i logged out from this because this has some credentials which are in production so i don't want people to see so uh, i can just come here and uh, click login so when i click login this is login to that so then i will i want to log into another which is this table then i will just click there then the next thing that we are going to do i will come for here so this is the one that we were using is this upay i think it's upay or this yeah it's this let me use, copy this because these are the one these are not for production they're for sandbox so there then i can come here and copy this i can come here and copy this yeah now the next thing that we are going to do uh let's reload and see uh let's wait it you can see but invalid command now this is the other thing that they should check this is an uh i, I received this even when i was consuming another api so from their documentation they are leaving the command id with a space but when you're consuming you can see here they're leaving command id with a space so you can just come here and do this then uh, uh not that don't get a uh, yes yes you can click there then you can execute you can see from here they are not adding command id with a space so you should remove the space in the command id that's what i've realized from the documentation in fact especially this appears that they've added recently so let me remove this you can see here it's business by goods no it should not be business by goods it should be business pay bill because we are sending to pay bill okay so business pay bill 
sorry business pay bill uh, business pay bill then i can just come here and post it here so let's now check what will happen so reload when you reload yeah you can see we have consumed it successfully and you can see we have gotten this so if we have if we have for production of which in this uh, full course when i finish when i'll finish consuming this api i will show you a demo of where i'm taking the application to live and you will know everything about Daraj api because i decided that i will teach the whole thing the whole concept about Daraj api so here i have already consumed it and um I've already consumed it and you can see from this we have received a response here but you can see from here we obviously getting invalid initiator name but you see for this what I've realized when you use their test credential from here you will always get this invalid initiator name but I will show you on how you can get it for a production so when it when it does this you mean it means you're okay but you are okay so uh you don't need to worry about uh, consuming it and initiator information invalid you will what you will do you will go for production it will always happen uh perfectly but if you have already gotten this it means that you have consumed the api successful so for production where i will show you on how you can create you can create uh, the initiator name this will work successful so if you are new and you like such kind of content just hit that subscribe button so that you can get all our latest uploaded videos so see you in the next video